Hey y'all, it's Tracy. Come on in. How y'all doing on this fine Sunday? Trying to finish up some dinner. Uh, how about to steam some cabbage? And I've got my dirty beans over here. I got yams going. The roast in the oven. Cornbread is in the oven. I'm down to the last. These are the dirty beans. See how rich that broth is. Kevin, can you give me a little scoop of sugar? A scoop of sugar. There's my scoop of Come on in, y'all. Get ready to turn these jams off so I can do the macaroni and cheese. You know what I do? I get those wooden things. Mm -hmm. Start bringing those cabbage. Let me get this. I have to see Kevin helping me. So how y'all doing, everybody? Trying to get my family fed. Hold on, we're gonna move some stuff around real quick. Get this cat back out of here. We're gonna drop the cabbage. Y'all doing okay? Woo -wee! Ain't nothing like a good old Sunday dinner though. And that's what I'm about to do for y'all. Uh-huh. He all right? Uh-huh. Okay. Yeah. Tell, me, tell me to take a nap. He, he's on watching TV. Okay. Keep an eye on. I told him dinner almost ready. Okay, baby. Bye-bye. Love you. Thank you. Get them cabbage over here. Okay. All right, y'all. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With the cabbage, you can. You finna fry these cabbages? Excuse me. Uh huh. Let me get out the way, y'all. Hold on. Oh, that's what happened. Y'all see? Got a little nervous. I ain't know it's been hot already. Yeah, we're trying to. Yeah. yeah. Hold on, let me put the onions in this first bit. Hold on one second. What is going on with you? I, you, I was coming over here. You Go ahead. I'm using my hand. That's how I do mine too, but I just don't drop everything. Go ahead. You good, tell me. Hey, you don't lie. Leave the doll here alone. We'll do the doll hair when I get through. We'll do our plan. Okay, baby. Just cabbage, ain't gonna fall out. Make that right. Mm -hmm. You still love your mama? Yeah. You love your dad? Ain't it good loving when somebody love your dad? Mm -hmm. All right. You put some salt, put some pepper, put some onions. I got you. You get it? There you go. You know we ain't gonna fight over cabbage if we can't fight over milk. They say don't fight over spoiled meat. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sprinkle a little sugar. That's a squishy bit.
You know? Onion powder, garlic powder, huh? The, the um, cabbage will make its own water. And you got to cook them on high because you're really steaming them. Okay, let me show y'all. I wipe my stove. Those are the dirty beans. Let me get my glasses because I can't see a thing. I'm sorry. Look at that. These are what I call dirty beans, honey. They loaded. They loaded with everything. I got meat all in there. Smoked meat. You're going to see some of it. Look. Look at some. Some of the meat looks smoked. Look like, you know. So baby, I got everything in there. Those are the dirty beans. We're gonna make a space and put the boards up, and we're gonna get the. Let me check the cornbread. Mm -hmm. uh, we need to take him to the doctor. I don't play. You know he waits to the last minute. No, he need to go to the doctor. He gotta go to urgent care, the emergency room. I don't play about stuff like that. Cause ever since he had that pneumonia with that COVID. When he get a cold, it triggers bad bronchitis and everything. Mm -hmm. That COVID just messes you up. And I don't play when he starts seeing his chest bother him. You know what I'm saying? You tell him, I say he get ready. He, when I finish this, he going to the doctor. And playing with him. Come on in, y'all. How y'all doing? Let me talk to you. Hey y'all, I'm back. I know I had on red hair, hair this morning. Y'all just gonna see so many traces. It's just unreal, okay? Oh, I can't see nothing. Hold on. How y'all doing today? Miss Tracy King, you teach me how to make dirty beans. I just did a video on it yesterday. Hey, 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 Willie Johnson. I love you. I really do. Miss um, Avis, a white. I know you're praying for me, Willie. I feel my help. They're called dirty beans. Now, if I cook these for Willie, I'm going to use turkey. Um, I'm going to use turkey wings. Okay? I'm not going to... Um, when I fix these for him when he comes... Now, I did use turkey sausages in here, Willie. Okay? But I'm going to remove the pork because I know you don't eat pork. So, I would do yours with um, turkey wings. Okay, but I do something different with my turkey wings before I actually put them into the beans. But yours will be, these are white beans and pinto beans. And they got meat in it. They got short ribs in it. They've got a um, neck bone. Um, smoked neck bone. See that smoked neck bone is dark. The meat on it is dark and it, it fell apart so you know how that go so you're gonna see that darkness in there I'm gonna do some macaroni next okay the yams have settled down I'm about to brown the cornbread hold on one second y'all <clears throat> my daughter went to check on her dad to see his his chest don't, is feeling funny I don't like that man I gotta keep my brown sugar I love what I got and I got what I love. I'm sorry about that now. I don't do a lot. I don't put bell pepper and all that in my cabbage. Now, if I was doing this just to eat, I would. I'd put some sausage and bell peppers and stuff. But this is going with some cornbread and pinto beans. Y'all know we cook cabbage so many different ways. Okay. I need to brown this cornbread. I need to put that lid on that cabbage. Hold on. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. 
okay? I'll show y'all the yam. I had to grind this cornbread. Hold on. I got to set this out. Kelby! I know you. I just needed you to come get this out. I didn't want to drop it. Eddie! You going to the uh, emergency room. You pay too much in insurance not to go. These is the yam. I'm going to make them. Hey, hey, I'm going to make them. We just finished these yams. Look at that gravy. All that gravy. Yeah, baby. Son, get off of work at 7. I'm going to have all this food ready. Hold on, y'all. I'm on. Um, Well, Philip, you ain't got to eat like this. If you can't, listen to me. Let me tell y'all about Marvin Music. I tell y'all what I do. When Kelby fix her plate for tomorrow, and my husband, and I can just get the food away. I, I can't let, make my son eat like this. He don't want no macaroni and cheese and stuff. He don't want this pretty cornbread going to come out in this roast. If he don't want it, I ain't going to make him eat it. Huh? I said the, corn, the, the cornbread going to come out... And I know you want to lift everything. Kelby made this cornbread. Wait till y'all see it. I'm staying with it so I'm burning. You want to go ahead and get the big thing out? What thing? Um, the roast. Where's it at? Oh, okay. Is it time for it to come out? It's time for it to come out. Mm-hmm. Not the, check the cornbread. It can, it can be a little bit more brown than right? I mean, it's fine. I said get the roast. You fasting? Baby, I respect it. Philip say he fasting. Okay, Kevin, you can get your cornbread no, out not. first. It's okay. Let him fast. We're going to fix people some plates. Okay, get your cornbread out. He fasting from his sin. Oh, he ain't been sinning? No, he just started his fast. Oh, you just started your fast from sin, sinning? Sinking sin. Sinking and sin. Sinking in people's bedrooms and stuff. Okay, I'm going to pull the next um, set of stuff out. Hold on. We're doing it a little at a time. Baby, don't come here and touch nothing. It's hot. What is our food bill? Well, you want to know what I spent yesterday? You really want to know or are you trying to just like come against me because you think I don't feed my mama and my family? Don't film me taking it out. Hmm? Oh, I'm not. It's on me. Okay. You want this? No, baby. It's on mama. I wouldn't catch you with your butt up in the air. Cause that's too much temptation for the average person. Is that? Yeah, you're not the average girl. No, no. <clears throat> okay, let me show y'all some more food. We can turn this on. Well, you know. Mm-hmm. Go back to bait, because we gotta do the macaroni. Okay, let me show y'all so far what we got. I think that's why I didn't even tell her, because I don't think she knew her. Probably care. Huh? You said what? Thank you, Minister Willie. So here's the roast with the gravy. We made that yesterday, remember? There's the roast, and there's your gravy. You ain't got to make gravy. You can make the gravy while the roast is cooking. I stir that up. That's Kelby's cornbread. She's going to rub some butter on it. Kel, it's some butter over here already, baby. Right up under her popcorn. <laughs> so, um, let me, um, I'm gonna stir it up for y'all. Hold on. Oh, good job. Yeah, I'm trying to put it at the top and I'm doing it. Okay. That's good. Mm-hmm. They are done. This is done. Get the, um, 
We got to get the um water on for the macaroni. I'm just going to cook it. Is that what you put in the pot? Mm-hmm. Put salt in it. So we did this. Are the yams done? The yams are done. So this is the gravy. We made the gravy and everything at one time. You remember we did it last night? The, the roast is tender. Real tender. Pick up and cut with a with this thing tender. For 1.2 of y'all sprinkle me, I appreciate it. Sprinkle means the S H A R E. All right. And so we're gonna put the put everything over here. We're gonna bring the dirty beans. Are we bringing dirty beans over here? Um, and we're gonna put the yams in a different bowl. I'm trying to make space. I know. I know. You gotta wipe it off. So we finna um make some space. Kale is finna make some space and we're gonna set the stuff together. My son said he don't want to eat like this, and I don't want him to eat like this if he don't want to eat like this. Mm. Okay, what what should I do? Let him starve. Okay, you don't have to eat this, son. You can go to McDonald's. Precisely. It's another cut. Every boy said, Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> He gonna go to McDonald's, Avery. So we setting up the stuff for y'all. He gonna eat that man. Big Shall I cook like this when I get when I want to feed my when well, my children are home? Y'all already know I go in. I told y'all, I said, you remember how I used to cook when I started off? When my kids come home, we run my mama on the plate. I, I, my husband gonna be fine. He fine. He just fine. Thank you for asking. I got it. He's stubborn. He's stubborn. But I don't play. Let me show y'all these cabbage. And the cabbage is coming along good. Kevin's gonna bring them yams over there. I don't know if she's gonna change out the dish or not. You want to scoop them up? I got, let's see. Hold on, sweetie, hold on. Hold on. Let's see. I can put it in here. What you got? No, they might, you don't think that might be too hot? What about this one? Oh, just go in there. Just go in and sit it over there. That's just no dishes we wash your name. Can I put that over there? Get ready for the macaroni. Mm -hmm. I show them all that. You got it? It's heavy. Mm -hmm. I'll grab the other side. Mm -hmm. And I know y'all know my son can eat. I know y'all already know that. I'm gonna show it to him. Let me wipe around my stove before we start that. Um, wipe it out before we start the, the other. I'm not gonna be here for He alright, Jessica. Y'all quit making a big deal now. I'm not gonna be here. I got faith. My husband's stubborn. And let me explain. Yeah. Huh? Uh-huh. Let me explain something to you. My husband, ever since he had COVID, if he get a cold, it want to turn into bronchitis. Now, I already checked. His left arm ain't hurting. He ain't short of breath. He ain't none of those things. But if I have to take him to, I'll call 911 and make that ambulance come. Okay, let me show y'all. He's hard-headed. It ain't me. He don't like to go nowhere. So, you got your yams. You got your roast. You got your dirty beans. Dirty beans. Dirty, eh, eh. 
They dirty. They dirty, girl. They dirty. They dirty. Like I said. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All day. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> Cornbread made by my baby, Kelby. And let me tell you, that's what you want to see in your cornbread. Y'all know I use this word aeration. <laughs> see? When it's cooked right, you're going to have that crispy edge. You got all that nice air in there. Because why? You got to add oil. Uh-huh. You got to add oil. I saw somebody say, you don't have to put no oil in your... Okay, you show sure down. You do what you want to. But it's not going to be like that. It's not going to be pretty like that. Nah. Then my husband preached today. Oh, yes, he did. Now we just got to do, get the cabbage and the macaroni. It's going to be a small thing of macaroni. Okay. And I make, let me tell you something. People say you don't have to put no water in your yams. But if you want to make this type of gravy, you're going to have to. You're going to have to. Unless you want dry yams. Now, listen. Let me see what I can do for you today. So what we're going to do is we're going to do some macaroni and cheese. And we're going to make the roux. We're steaming the cabbage. And we'll be done with dinner in a matter of minutes. Why do you call them dirty beans? I call them dirty beans. I named them that because the gravy on them is so dirty looking. You know, sometimes you can't get your gravy right. But because you're mixing the white beans along with the pinto beans, along with all the seasonings that I put in there, it turns the gravy kind of dirty looking. That's why I call them that. Now, they're not made with kidney beans. they not. What's them beans the Louisiana people use? It's not that. It's not beans and rice like that or whatever. Come on in, Janine Jackson. You invited. Thank you, Madonna Lambert. <laughs> Cooking my way, LLC. Listen, I had an episode, but your dressing and stuff is in the freezer. Yeah, I'm not finished. It's worth clogging ar arteries for that bee. Oh, bless your heart, but it ain't going to clog it. I use orange juice in my yams, yes. I use the orange peeling. I like the gravy in the yams. That's what my daughter do too, Belinda Jackson. Kelby like to do that. She like to take the gravy off the yams and pour it over her, over her cornbread. And she mix her macaroni and cheese and her yams together. Is that right, Kel? Mm -hmm. And she got Deacon Calvin doing it. Is the sausage and the beans? Yes, ma'am. Yes, BK Franklin. I'm sorry. I didn't know if you're a man I got. Girl. Yeah. And let me explain. I fix plates. Like, I fix my mama and my auntie them plates. We gonna eat. Kelby gonna take something to work. Son gonna eat twice. He eats while he fixing a plate and he eat after. And he'll be mad if it ain't no leftovers. So. What about pineapple juice instead of water? I, I Well, I always add some water. This is what I do. Sometimes I use pineapple juice depending on who I'm cooking them for. But I do orange peels. It's, it's, a, it's a little step that I do with my yams. I got videos out there. And then I do use a little lemon juice. I use a little pineapple juice. And I also use cinnamon. I use nutmeg. I use brown sugar. I use real butter, not margarine. And I use um, white sugar too. And the thing about it is before I put the, uh, put the potatoes in there, I do all that first. Okay? I almost make like a caramel. I do that first and I incorporate my liquids and I have to add, I don't have to add no more, no more liquids. Now when I was on Weight Watchers, they said we could eat all the pinto beans we wanted in cabbage. So I, you making them like me? Yes, ain't they good? Hey, Miss Linda Taylor, she a new um, follower y'all. Okay, I'm going to get back to the food, but we um just put the water. I almost just got to make your macaroni. 
We got we got the uh put the macaroni. Who didn't see the food? Me. I am Miss Mary. I'm still by my husband. Yeah, she do look like me. Hey honey, honey, look, Rosemary. Let me show Rosemary, y'all. She just coming in. So Rosemary, I got the yams finished. I got the dirty beans finished, Rosemary. I got the cornbread finished. And I got the roast. And I made the gravy, remember? While I was cooking the roast roll, I did the gravy at the same time. Mm-hmm. And Rosemary, I got these beans over here. I'm going to go check on my cabbage. Bro, I got these dirty beans. You know, I call them dirty. It's the gravy for me. It's the gravy. It's a different type of gravy. It's the gravy for me. Cornbread. You all right, baby? Yeah. Mm. And these yams, like, they... Mm, hard to explain. They say, hey, Kel. Hey. So now we finna finish these cabbage. Let me show you the cabbage. I like to cook. I ain't forced to cook. My children, they don't tell my husband. They tell me to sit down, but it's my therapy. I go through things. Um, right now, we're dealing with death in the family. Tim, Tim, well, you didn't, I did your daddy didn't tell you Tim died. You find these baby. Cabbage for me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, Linda said she ain't new. Huh? Look. So what? Look. Linda said she's not a new follower. She's been watching me since last year. I thought she said new. Some Linda said I'm new. I'm sorry. I don't know which one. Ma, do you know something different about her? Uh-huh. Right on the side. I see you so creative. Hey, hey, you gonna do how like mommy used to. You have a big old house. Original doll or the other one? Uh, it's, it's a um, different one. Name her star. Is the other one coming back? I don't know. She all right with star. Yeah, she was sexy. I'm gonna go to the store. Can I Okay. It's going to be a good matter. Put the cabbage in. Mm -hmm. Okay. Cabbage. I didn't add no water. I'm just frying these cabbage, okay? I'm frying them and steaming them. That's how you cook. I mean, you cook yours the way you want to. And I'm just frying these. Okay? To each his own. Not No judgment zone. Thank y'all for the stars. Whoever gave it to me, I appreciate it. Oh, yes, Bug J. Bug J, um, send me your number so I can call you, baby. Thank you, Deacon Calvin. Look, y'all, we having a reunion next year. We having our reunion. It's the Mama's Comfort Cooking Reunion. And you can go, come if you want to. You can go to www.mamascomfortcooking.com and register. Click the flyer and let's get you in so you can eat some of this stuff. Honey, I'm going to have Sweet Creations by Melinda G in the house. Chef Ruby is coming through. Chef Carmen says she's coming through. Um, I've got a Million Dollar Barbecue coming. See there? Uh-huh. They coming. Mm -hmm. I think Miss Tanya Farney and Farney Seasoning's coming. Honey, we about to network it up. Honey, them content creators is, re is welcome to come register. And come if they want to come. If only one can't come. Just one. But all the rest of them are invited. 
business, nice business now. Thank y'all. Send me some hearts up and some and some lights and some stars if y'all like it. It's called interacting and engagement. Thank you for the frowning faces. Those give me more points. Thank y'all. I love them frowny faces. Yes, I do. Because I know you're watching me on the fake pages. I always feel like somebody watching me. Don't take a rocket scientist. You may not click on the video. But you're watching. Okay. I'm going to cover it up one more time and they'll be ready. Do y'all like y'all cabbage real soggy? Let me get that steam back on it. Y'all, this is such a big skillet. When I tell you this is a big skillet with this big old long handle. But look, y'all welcome to come to the reunion. Don't forget we're having that reunion on June 9th, 10th, and 11th. It's going to be three days of fun, fellowship, and food. Honey, we're going to be eating. So go ahead and join Weight Watchers. Uh, get on Slim Fast. Go ahead and do whatever you can do so we can lose some weight. Yeah, I do too, really. I like mine with a little crunch. Because it didn't kill me. Uh-huh. I'm going to make it even if I got to come on broken pieces. That what, that's what um, my husband preached to now. That we're going to make it even if it's on broken pieces. I like a little crunch in mine. I don't like mushy cabbage. I, when I see people cabbage mushy, I know they put a lot of water in them. They think they call it green. Ah! Hey, this Karen bl Blending. Miss Maddie Bush. Hey, Amanda uh, uh, Gay. Yes, ma'am, Linda Taylor. I love you too, Miss Dinah. Go, uh, go, man. Go, 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 zealous. Go, zealous. I almost said go, man. Go, zealous. The text was preached at our church today. The same one? His tank, it, it didn't kill you? That was his title. It didn't kill me. And then he said that he used this passage of scripture when Paul was on the boat. And he said God didn't ever say the boat was going to make it. He said that they were going to make it. Even if it was on broken pieces. Yeah. Let me check and see if it's quite ready like I want it. This, this one right here. And that's what huh? That's with me. That's with me. That's with me. And I get crazy at times. I have to calm her down. Okay, y'all, we ready to dump these cabbage. They good. I have to have a little bite on mine. Oh, really, really? His passage was, I survive. Honey? God sending a message. We got to go through some stuff, but we going to make it. We going to make it. I think I'm ready to turn the cabbage on. Yeah, I'm ready to release these. And now we're going to do um the macaroni and cheese. I ain't going to be before y'all. Okay. But I ought to be ready to shake them noodles in there. Did you put the salt in there? Uh-huh. Okay, hold this. I help. I dip this out. Okay. Go on once, go on twice on the you and I'm going to go on the other side. Go on once, go on twice on the you and I'm going to go on the
Now you don't have to fry your, these are fried. See, I'm still frying. You hear the sizzle? Onions in her cabbage. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Sure did. Didn't put no bell pepper. Charlotte, if you don't like it, if you can't handle the smoke, get out the kitchen. What's she say? You talk a lot. Why do you preach a lot? Mm -hmm. you lie. Let me have it. Don't, don't play about God with me. You just got blocked. Charlotte. I don't care. You don't want to hear about the Lord. You banned. I don't play that. Bye. Bounce. Splash you. This ain't Take for you. If God mm -hmm. gave me this platform. I don't care what nobody said. I had to get rid of that spirit. That was a wicked spirit. I don't play about that. She asked me a lot of things. But at the name of the Lord, you can't stand for me to mention. Is that a payment plan? Yes, it is. Can you put that in the skillet so I can move? Yeah, I popped. I just went mm -hmm. off. I just went all the way off. Put that in the skillet so I sink it so I can wash it. Oh. I wipe my stove down. Kelby helping uh, Deacon Calvin. Why he worried about me? Uh oh, she said, Kelvin, why you worried about her? I was waiting for the mailman yesterday to see if I got some flowers she, and did. She was waiting on the mailman to see if she got some flowers and she didn't. Now let's make some macaroni and cheese. Did you put some salt in the water? I did. Okay, Kelby put some salt in the water. I'm going to make the macaroni in the roof. And we done. I did. I, I banned her. I didn't even block her. I banned her. She can't even find me. Um, I just don't like stuff like that. Because that lets you know they've been watching me. So you just really come to aggravate me. Oh, he said, don't get smart, Kelby. Mm. Oh, man, I got, more, I got a lot of men coming to my reunion. I know what y'all talking about. Tell the men. They already coming. Honey, I got tons of men coming. I'm not saying they all available now. Could be, could not be. Who's to say? Have y'all seen that new movie uh, that Tyler Perry got out called Jazz Man? Give me one of those bags right there. Yeah. I'll tell you one thing. If I don't get no flowers, somebody going to be available at this reunion. Uh oh, you heard that, uh 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 uh, Deacon Calvin. Oh, make sure he hid. Uh huh. Turn it on. If I don't get no flowers before this reunion, somebody gonna be available. Period. And that's on Jack and Jill went up the hill. Uh uh. And they know who they are. They know you ain't got to call. And it better be sunflowers too. Oh my goodness! Somebody just got told they better. Okay, she's going to set the um, stuff over there. I'll show y'all that's just coming in what I got. That was a good movie. I watched it. Somebody mentioned it up here. Told us to go watch it last night. Put that in the drawer. Okay, we finna do the um, macaroni. My sound went off. You got to go out and come back in. It was a good movie, wasn't it? Mm -mm. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Hold on. Hold on, Kelby finish. She finished. She's snapping. She's gonna make me a little video so I can do a reel. Hold on, she finna come get the camera because somebody on top of me. 
What am I doing? Showing them the food while I'm over here on this macaroni store. Oh. It's almost ready. That is. It's on his left side. Is it on your left side? Yeah. This is my left mom. Mom, this now, is my left. Call oh, yeah, because you don't have to sit in the waiting room that long. It's hot. We're going to get out no. the kitchen a little bit. For a second. <laughs> Nobody. Else. Don't say that. Oh, no. The door that uh, closes. And then I got I, my hair done yesterday, y'all. I, I think when the door, daddy's um bell uh, door opens up, I think somebody had farted. Uh, when his door opens, no, it sounds like his, it. his um closet where his belt. Y'all like that? My girl done hooked me up. Thank you, Ansley. I don't know why I'm doing that sound. I'm sorry. What be? Can we turn the light on? What you cook, girl? I made the cornbread. Mm -hmm. and I make great and cornbread, did. so that's my contribution. And then I've been helping with the the rest. Thank you. No ice cream. No, I forgot that she had. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, I had put it in there. I thought you had. I didn't tell her. She didn't know. Hey, Miss Jean. Well, I didn't know it was in there though. Oh, I see. Yeah, that's what she said. She said you. I didn't like no. I didn't look at the other stuff. Didn't know. It's hot in there. Eyes hot. Eyes hot. Chicky though. hot. Chicky, 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 clap, clap, cha-cha-cha. Okay. Yeah. Thank you for that. I hate how I'll be having some little pieces that be stubborn. But whatever. We waiting on the um macaroni noodles to get ready. And she's about to start making the roux for the macaroni and cheese. What do you put in your cabbage? Onions. Wait, yeah, onions. Um, salt, pepper, salt, pepper, garlic, pepper, garlic, powder, garlic powder, onion powder, onion powder uh, uh, a little powder. sugar, a little bit of sugar, and I, uh, some fat back grease. That's it. She fried the fat back fat first. Fat, 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 fat. Thank you. Some fat back grease, and then you fry it. Cooking in a glass pan make your food tender. Hmm. Someone said cooking in a glass pan can make your food tender. Uh, yeah, we got a full spread. Tell them now to see Thanksgiving. Yeah, Thanksgiving. We're going to catch the itis real bad. I ain't even ate yet and I got the itis, so. It's Sunday. <laughs> I know, and I got <laughs> got to go back to work tomorrow. Pray for me, because I don't want to drive. I'm just giving mama a break. That'd be some good cabbage. Mm-hmm. Who did your hair, Ansley? What meats are in the dirty beans? I know she got some sausage in there. What's the other meat, Mama Turkey? Uh-huh. And some turkey. 
Mr. Willie said, let me get a plate. I'm on the way. Come on, Mr. Willie. Where are y'all from? Y'all cooking like us here in Cordell. We from, uh... So we just as country? Yeah, we just as country. We up in the north side of the GA. For her macaroni and cheese. She got a video on YouTube too, Miss Nancy, that show you how to make her macaroni and cheese. She got several different cheeses she uses. She uses... Five. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I said several. A, yeah, it's a plethora. <laughs> she uses uh, Gouda. She like regular Gouda. She don't like the smoke. Uh, this time I bought smoke now. Oh, she usually don't buy the smoke Gouda. Sure she got she used Gouda cheese, Havarti, Sharp Cheddar, Velveeta. That's it, right, Mom? Yeah. That's what she used in her roux. Then, of course, you know, we season our macaroni water. And um, then she add into the, you know what? Let me show y'all too. Then she add into the pan. She'll do like some butter, some sour cream, some um. How long did she? How long did Miss Sandra cook her roast? Miss Sandra? For two years. Who's Miss Sandra? Right there. See, she took it out. We put a little butter in there. She put sour cream too, right, Ma? I ain't done it yet. She ain't done it yet, but she put sour cream. Yeah, Miss Anna, she don't like smoked gouda either. She she bought it this time, but... I'm just going to use a little bit this time. Okay. Does she have a recipe for the dirty beans? Yep, I yep. did them last night. And I'm going to be in a cookbook too. Yeah. Can I get over here for a second? Mm-hmm. So, um, I need a um, third a cup of flour. You take a cup, it's a third. We get ready to make the roux, okay? So what I'm using is, that was half a stick. I'm going to get another little bit more of butter. And we're going to melt it with a third cup of flour. Uh-huh. You ain't got no measuring thing. Yeah, it is. They over there in that bowl. The mixing thing. A third cup of, of flour. And then we're going to go ahead right now and... um. You got a fourth cup. It's a third cup in there. One of those aisles is a third cup. It's a third cup. I got, I got every measuring thing there is. I'm going to turn it around and let y'all see me make this roux. Hold on. Now you only got a half and fourth. Okay, don't fill the half all the way up. Not all the way, just, you know, that way it'll be a third. Okay. A flower? Huh? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna get y'all going. Hold on one second. This is the last step, and I'm gonna go sit down for a while. I like my food. I like for it to sit for a while, and I drink my ice water. I'm just melting the butter, then we're gonna get going. And then you're gonna need milk. I use three milks. I use heavy cream, canned milk, and a uh, whole milk. Okay. Got some canned milk already over there. And um, I use sour cream, salt, and pepper. Got some pepper in here. Okay, y'all ready to get started? Okay, we're gonna have to get my cheeses out the refrigerator. Hold on. Okay, this is how we're gonna do it. So, in here, you gotta start off with your. Let me get this shit up high. That's good. Don't burn your bro bro butter now. Turn it, turn it, turn it down a little bit, Tracy. Put it up here. Okay. It'll fall. Right here? Mm-hmm. Good. That was the third of the cup. No, it's not. Not falling. Nope. You got to cook this flour, okay? You want to cook the graininess off because you don't want your macaroni to taste like flour. I need the sour cream too. Did you need mild cheddar too? Mm-hmm. Heavy looking cream. I got shredded. I got Belvita in there. Or government cheese. Either one of you. Okay. So you're going to cook. This is good. I bought it yesterday. Okay. You cook that a little bit. 
We're gonna add some milk. Okay, give me a, I need the milk. I know it, just sit it down. I move a little quick on this. Just cook the graininess off. Next, you're gonna start adding you some milk in here. Hold on, Kale's coming. I'm having whipping cream. It's in there somewhere. Add you some milk. That's about two cups of milk. Okay, but I got that canned milk over there open. So what you want to do is get your milk going first. Okay? Because this is your room. Before you add your cheese, get your milk. Hold that. So what Kel's gonna do? Mm-hmm. Kelby is pouring canned milk, all of it. Mm-hmm. Then we're gonna put some sour cream. You okay. Okay. Let me get some glasses on. I can't see a thing. Third cup, and that's about two cups of milk. I use three milks and five cheeses, okay? I've been making my macaroni like this for so long. Okay. Huh? Uh-uh, I just bought some a brand new um, sour cream. Can I do this one? Uh-uh. Yeah, you can this one. I don't know what that is. I got a brand new big date because I'm baking cakes. Okay, did you put flour? Yes, I use flour and milk. Um, you use your butter and your flour and you cook it for a little bit. Okay. Hello. We got it going. Hey, Mama. Okay. Hi, baby. Okay, I'm going to add a little heavy whipping cream in here. Set you up there like that. Hi, baby. How much salt cream? Um, you know, just whatever, a little bit of salt cream. The heavy whipping cream over here. The heavy whipping cream over there. Stir that up for me, sis. Thank you much. I thank you much. Oh, Janet Jackson, I miss you much. Better. Okay, now that this is going to start turning into a thickness, let me have my cheese. I know I'm moving you like crazy. I move like crazy. I need my um um Havarti and my Gouda. You don't want me. You don't want me to use that smoke this time, do you? you don't say smoke, that one don't say smoke, but I bought some smoke. But that's okay. Okay, let's start with some mild cheddar. I, I use the cheddar it. family. Hmm. I don't know where it was. I just picked up. That's fine. This is just fucking this, and we gonna make it. Yeah. Then I'm gonna add Gouda. I use about five slices of Gouda. Mm-hmm. Work that in there real good. And you know you can freeze this roux. That was Gouda. Gouda. I call him Gouda. Gouda. Faster than lightning. No one can see who's wiser than he. You remember that song, Flipper? <laughs> they call him Flipper, Flipper. Oh, it was my childhood. It was a, a dolphin that was sweet. Oh. Very lovable. Uh, trying to open up my cheese, y'all. I can't get it open. It ain't working for me. Give me the next cheese, huh? Can't get the Havarti open. Let's do the, uh oh, sorry. Give me the, give me the next cheese. I can't get the Havarti. I can't get 
Let's one. do the Velveeta. I know, but you don't have to open it for mama. I don't know. Huh? I can get it open. It's going to grab some Velveeta. Some of y'all like Velveeta, some of you don't. I love it. Add us Velveeta in here. Us is Velveeta. Uh, okay, Avery. I can't have that. Now. Okay, Avery, hush. Hush. Don't get her, Kelby. Please don't get her. Give her a break. Oh, Lord. Here they go. Oh, I thought she stopped me. Okay. He was ready to start, wasn't he? Yeah, she was. Stay with this because you can burn your cheese and we don't want you to do that. Okay, you got me my... Um, now, we that was Velveeta. Now, we're going to add some Havarti cheese. Stay with your cheese. I don't want you to burn it. I'm done with all the cheese. We got the sharp. I need the sharp. Okay, that's all my cheese. I just made you an amazing roux. Now, if you want to, at this point, you can go ahead and season this roux. I don't put onion powder and all that. I just don't put all that in mine. But you can. You can put some paprika in here to make it pretty. I'm going to add a little cheddar cheese. Can they see me good? Let me see. Okay, y'all see me good? Thank y'all for the song. Okay, y'all, hold on. Liquid gold, and it ought to run like that. Okay? I don't want nobody macaroni. Full of flour. Mm -mm. That's the case. Use an egg. Y'all see that? You see the consistency? All you need is a third cup. Depending on how much you're making. And if you're making a lot of, for a lot of people, you know you got to go up on your measurement. Like, catering wise but just for a family and a huge pan this is still the same measurement to be fine and turn that off I'll let y'all get in there real good hold on it's liquid gold baby it's like that that's your consistency that's how you want it now you ought to be able to see through it. You know how when we do them chitlins, you can see through them. You get all that membrane off. Honey, I remember flipper faster than lightning, uh, Miss June Phillips. I went back there and talked to my... Can you use cheeses that you want? Because, yeah, you sure can, Miss Rita Brown. You don't have to use what I use. Yes, I use evaporated milk. It's already in the macaroni and cheese. I didn't put it in the roux. Okay? So this is what I do. So y'all understand. I get this ready. Okay? It's got milk in it. It's got, it's got sour cream in here already. Okay? And it has just a little bit of butter and... um. I cooked them al dente, as you can see, and it also has the canned milk in here and a little heavy whipping cream, okay? And the reason why I do that, even though I make a roux, 
you want that juice. You don't want just the roux and don't have any extra juice. And that extra juice makes it just go through the noodles at the end. Okay? So now we're going to pour it. And like when I went grocery shopping, I spent a little bit, but I hadn't been in a while. And I just stocked up on what I needed. Okay, we ready. And I didn't even buy nothing but a roast. Do you want me to scrape it out while you pour it? Kale's gonna stir it in. And it look, I didn't even use a, a, I didn't even use half of a small box of, of Velveeta. You don't have to use a lot of cheese. You just got to know how to stretch it. Let me taste it. Because I don't have no eggs, I can taste it. I didn't use any mozzarella. Not today. Mm, that's good. And then we're going to top it off with cheese. Mm. Well, I put all cheese. Which, which one? Um, you know, we use cheddar on top. Dump bowl. Dump bowl. See, we clean up as we go. Girl, go dish rag, plate. Ava. Give mommy dish rag. You're going to be in and out. You got people on that phone. Okay, Be nice, baby. Be nice. No. Yeah. No. Yeah. We don't put all that on ours. You can. I don't put all that. When I grew up, macaroni and cheese didn't have no um onion powder and garlic powder and all that. So I got salt and pepper. You want to know what's in mine? Yeah. Salt and pepper. That's all I got. I don't do all that. Now that's y'all new generation. But I don't want all that in mine. And I'm not going to do it for no demonstration and throw it away. I tried that one day. Son said, don't put that stuff back in that macaroni, Mom. Mama. We'll be ready in a minute, baby girl. I said I was going to ask you. Where's the chicken at? Where's the chicken at in the macaroni? <laughs> now, I can do that. Huh? I can make you some chicken macaroni one day. Yeah, I want like some. Like shrimp and macaroni. Yeah, and I have to be like that. Uh, so much. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm gonna move back and let you put it in the oven. Uh, I don't know. It's too heavy. The second one. It ain't heavy. Oh la! Alright, so let me show y'all what, what we got on the menu for today on Sunday. Um, what you got? I did check on my husband. He Dirty. said his arm and stuff, it just feel like how it felt when um, he had COVID and they told him it was bronchitis. So he's not short of breath or nothing like that. He just feel like he kind of pulled a muscle. Uh, this is disgusting. Okay. Hey. Everything that you don't like is disgusting. Just say you don't like it. Okay. 
So we got yams. I'm sorry, we got cabbage. Remember, I did that roast for y'all with the gravy already in it. Yep, that part. Mm -hmm. We got these dirty beans. Honey, and they dirty. Got meat all in it and everything. Baby, they dirty. It's the gravy. It's the gravy. Look at that. Look at that gravy and the seasons, okay? We got cornbread. We got a spoon for these yams, baby. And then we got the yams with the gravy. So that's what we got going on this Sunday. Who be who got who be walking around hopping and can cook? Who be hopping and cooking? Who be weebling, wobbling, but don't fall down? Mama Tracy. Ain't nothing left but the macaroni. Oh, Lord. I advise y'all to go watch the message today on my on my Bible study page. My husband showed it preach. Now, I ain't gonna be cooking tomorrow. Uh huh. Y'all gonna sprinkle me? Sprinkle is S H A R E. I appreciate it. If I got twelve hundred people on him, I ought to have at least six hundred. Cause some of y'all ain't gonna do it. And I'll do a video. I I show it at the end. It don't matter. I got it all, honey. Yes, Chef. Chef, if, are y'all following Chef Mr. Willie C? If not, I need 1.2 of y'all to go follow Chef Mr. Willie C. Chef Mr. M R Willie W I L L I E and the letter C. Let's build his page up, y'all. Tomorrow, I got to go meet somebody. I got some business to help them. No, you ain't going to hear Dirty Beans because it's one of my recipes. <laughs> some, I'm telling y'all, cooks make up their own stuff. Cooks make up their own stuff. We don't always follow. Honey, I'm sending all y'all a plate. Bling, y'all got it. Now, y'all know I'm going to have a reunion next year. While y'all falling off, don't act like y'all crazy. Y'all know that reunion coming up June 9th, 10th, and 11th. And we have a payment plan. And you can pay the minimum of $25. And in your bag, I can't tell everything, but you will get a beautiful welcome bag. And on top of that, we're going to have fun. Yes, I enjoyed Tyler Perry's new movie. I was very upset, and I'm not going to spoil it for nobody. But it was really good. And I'm going to be honest. Can I be honest with y'all? I think he came up this way and filmed it. Between here and Hilton Head, South Carolina. Because he named Somerville. And Somerville is, is extreme northwest up here for us. So if he said Somerville when it first started. Unless he just named it Somerville. But Somerville, Georgia is my way. His name is Chef Willie C. The name of the movie that Tyler Perry got on Netflix is called um, Jazz Man. Thank you, Jimette, for going and following him. It means a lot when y'all do it, I ask you. You know, it's enough for everybody out here. I don't know him, but I feel like when God keep letting your name stand out, then... At first, I was like, well, you know, I'm not going to do that. I'm not going to help nobody because that, that bad seed that won't leave me alone. Y'all know who she is. Y'all know y'all know that drama with, with that stuff. So, But I'm, 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 I'm going, I got to go visit somebody tomorrow on that. Jazz man. 
You are welcome, Chef Willie. Um, when Chef Carmen gets still from all her engagements, I'm gonna put a call into her. You just followed his PG. What's PG? Do you mean IG Instagram? Thank you, Gene. Y'all, thank y'all for going over there. Listen, he's a man of God. He put God first. He's gonna, he's gonna excel because see, everybody think it's so cool for them to do what they want. We gotta watch them curse. We gotta watch them drink. We gotta watch them smoke. As Christians, I'm gonna stand for my Christian-based people. Because I'm so sick and tired of everybody saying, well, you make excuses for this and for that. No, if I got to, if you can't stand for me to mention him, I don't want to hear nothing. A jazz man's blues. Yeah, I just typed in jazz man and it popped up. It's jazz, not jasmine. J-A-Z-Z-M-A-N. A jazz man's blues. It, that's why I said, Miss Rosa, if he wasn't up here... Uh, in Somerville, Georgia, he must have been in South Carolina. That's why I said Hilton Head. Because I thought about something. Because I've been to Hilton Head. And I saw how they were entering into um, Hartwell County. It kind of looked like how you enter into Hilton Head with them weeping willow trees. Now, I knew that was South Carolina or Savannah. Because they got them weeping wi willow trees that connect. Thank y'all for going over. He appreciated. Chef Willie appreciated. Me and him and Melissa, me and him and Melinda was on 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 the phone yesterday together. Now he said he gonna he gonna try to come to the reunion. So I'm gonna have some content creators there. It'll be a good way to network and get to meet your content creators at my reunion next year. Yeah, I'm not sure. Thank you, Camilla Lee. Follow Chef Lee. Thank you. Thank y'all. Thank you, Mary Harris. Yeah, listen. Y'all, we got power. You content create. Y'all have no idea. If you don't put it out there, you never know how God going to put you in the path of people. You know, I was I was going to let some bad apples mess me. No. I didn't have but really one bad apple. One bad one. And this and this lady, I I think cuz is more mental. She ain't even a cook. The per that person ain't no cook. Son at work, he get off at 7 o'clock. Look at you, Chef Will. I told you. And, and this ain't, this ain't, the, the, the best is yet to come. Bug J, I'm praying for you, baby. I do not know what's going on, but I know real life is happening and people are sick and they hurting. And we, that's why I said the mental, like I'm, we've been dealing with this situation and, you know, my husband preached and talked about his friend today. Uh-huh. He saw him as a brother and I loved him too. He was my, he was my family too. And I, I'm, oh, hey, that's a hard one. His is hard. Buster's was hard. Daryl's was hard. Man, it's just hard. That's just hard. Oh, S.A. and Lil Hubbard Jr. See, Tim and Buster, though, Tat done lost two brothers. That's cousin, sister, friend, brother that died. She lost her brother, Buster. And she lost her brother, Tim. Y'all pray for my cousin. Okay, let me quit talking about it. But yeah, thank you, June Johnson. Thank you, Dinah Clark. Gonzalez, I ain't gonna say Gonzales, <laughs> like Zale, so, yeah, yeah, like my husband said, it didn't kill me, thank you Mary Turner for following
Yeah, it's this is a hard one. We got to make our way to his mama's house. Look at you. Look at you, Chef Willie. See, look at you. First, I thought you was my Willie Johnson. The second, he cooks. I don't know what he waiting on. He support everybody. I don't know why he ain't got a page yet. I'll talk to him. Tay, how is your mama and your children doing? I go to the post office on tomorrow. I, I, I'm just not getting where I can get around a little bit better. Yeah, it's sad. But life happens. He was 55. Look at your AD. Meriwether already done registered. Thank you, girl. AD, what do you do? Are you a content creator, AD? Hey, Monica Bernie, Miss Monica. See, I don't know how old y'all are, so I give respect. Sometimes when I read out names a lot, I can't. But now, I don't have no weave or nothing in my hair right now. This is just my hair. I was redheaded this morning, though. I was looking kind of cute. Thank you, Miss Sylvia Lee. Thank you, um, Sandy Reynolds. Hey, Davida Taylor. Thank you. I know, Jewel. Yes, it is. Was that the chef that died of... Oh, I didn't know. No, no, no. This is my family. I didn't know no chef had died. Who died? Oh, you human resources. Girl, don't hire. Don't fire nobody tomorrow. Because you know how they come in on y'all on Mondays. Don't fire them now. AD, we're going to pray. We're going to command our day. They better leave you alone. Take a moment. I want you to go to Hawaii. Uh -huh. 90 seconds is a moment. Go to Hawaii before you unlock that door. Because you know how they get. Especially when it's time for the insurance premiums to go up. Oh my God. Um, um, what was I saying? Is your selling the the good? Oh, uh, you can order cakes from Sweet Creation by Melinda G. She is a great cake baker now. Hush, Jean. Flipper went before your time. You faster than light. And Jean, he got to you. know you outside patting flies, telling lies. You 68. I'm 54. But Joanne Pleasant says, let me tell y'all something. I talked to um, Aisha Saver. Honey, that chick, she's, she's 65, but baby, she don't act it. I got to call her back. That's all I can tell y'all on that one. Who live in Savannah, Georgia? It's just in Cartersville. Who live in Gwinnett, Georgia? No, I live in Cartersville. Miss Rosa, you 80. You blessed. My mama 80. Oh, we would, you know what? Davina, uh, a uh, wood with me and you would have been running around in our acid wash jeans, wouldn't we, girl? We was the kids of the 90s. You couldn't tell us nothing back in the day, honey. We know about Freak Meek. Atlanta's Freak Meek. Before that was an Uncle Clifford. <laughs> Before that was an Uncle Clifford. That was an Uncle. Um... No, maybe I shouldn't say it. Before that was Uncle Clifford. That was Uncle Luke. Y'all remember Luke? <laughs> Uncle Luke. Before there was Clifford down in the valley, there was Uncle Luke and the Freak Nick. I know some of y'all around here on him from Marriott and Atlanta. And y'all ain't crazy. Y'all know, y'all remember Uncle Luke. Y'all talking about y'all my age, around my age. Y'all ain't crazy. Yeah. <laughs> Look what Kenya Williams said. I can, you remember him? Uh-huh. Chef Willie, last name Cooper. Oh, I, I don't know his last name. It's Chef Willie it's Chef Willie C. Yeah, Luke Campbell. <laughs> oh, you did, Lisa. Did you like him? Everybody, Middle Tennessee. I like Tennessee. She home for her 18th birthday. Mom is good. Surgery. Oh, mine on the third, too. Keep me posted. Tell her I said happy 18th birthday. I know she beautiful with her pretty self. Stay focused. 
Uncle Lou. <laughs> Katisha, you know what I'm talking about. M Katisha McAllister. Listen, listen, Arkita now. I'm just saying before that was Uncle Clifford, we had an Uncle Lou. Like they got Uncle Clifford. We had Uncle Lou. It's the same thing. And the two like <laughs> What you know about that? A little old dirty. Y'all remember him, the little midget. <laughs> Boy, now that's when you that's you had to be grown to go to those concerts. Happy birthday, Regina House. My birthday is today. It's not Miss Harris. My name is not Miss Harris. My last name ain't Harris, though, but it's okay. Oh, Luke, I'm finna the laugh. You <laughs> Wait a minute. AD, you better not be somebody I know. AD, you know about Freak Me. What you know about that? You don't know about that. Don't go Googling it either, AD. AD, so you, 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 so AD, you graduated one year behind me because your birthday was late, but you really was born in 1968, which, and you would have been a class of 86, but you were class of 87, so you know about Luke and the boys, and you know about Freak Nick. So how is you knowing about all this stuff and you live in Indiana? Because I'm trying to figure out if you know about the Greek parties and stuff. I'm just trying to figure out what you know. Because I, I don't want to say if I was there or there. But that's that's the past. But yeah, I, I was there. I just want to say. Atlanta nightclubs. Yeah, I did. Bees figure eight. The Phoenix. <laughs> the one step down. I'll buy rather straight. Okay, I'm gonna be good and be quiet. It's not back down memory lane anyway. Look at you. I went to Daytona to Katisha, look at you. Did y'all stop it? Y'all was in the traffic and open the car doors and dancing outside on Highway 75 and on the cars and going through. Didn't never go to no festivities, did we? <laughs> Ain't been around the Clark AU and nothing. Ain't been over there and nothing. Ain't been to Morehouse film and they went to. Who and Morris Brown, the Battle of the Bands. When Morris Brown lost their accreditation, I just wanted to go to school because of the band. I liked the campus. But it was just in the West End area in the hood. Oh, I, yeah, I used to go to Underground Atlanta. Mm -hmm. I sure did. And I hate they closed it. They used to have some good stores, you know, them them fake pocketbooks. Uh-huh. Did y'all used to go, um, did y'all used to go to the flea market off of, um, um, where did we used to go? Buford Highway. Buford Highway used to be the place to go buy your stuff. Buford Highway Flea Market, see y'all. Girl, I was in them streets. I was too. I was outside patting flies and telling lies. Hey, ain't lying. <laughs> That's what Jermaine tell me all the time. He said, Mom, Tracy, I ain't lying. I never went because I was working all, oh, but I had friends that went to Freak Nick back in the day. I heard of all the story. Baby, if it was something to be told, it was. I, that's all I can tell you. Enjoy my time at ATL colleges. Yes. And we didn't, and you know, and that, that's what I don't understand. Like back in the day, West End was lit. You had all the clubs, the Phoenix. You know, you had all those things. Uh, but we didn't have as much crime. They weren't killing students then. But now it's people scared to send their kids. The first time I heard of a big murder was um was um Bill Cosby's son, Ernest. He got killed. But he actually went the wrong way. He got caught up in a bad neighborhood. It was something. It was so much fun. And you didn't want your mama to know that you was like that. But I'd be like, ask your mama. She knows she used to do it too, so I'll be worried about it. That's why I tell my kids. Yeah. Uh-uh, honey. I was, um, I would go to the freak nick and stuff. I went to the club and stuff. I didn't drink and stuff. Well, I like girly drinks like, you know, strawberry daiquiris or, 
or Barlin James and nothing with nothing in it. Uh, uh, California Cooler. What, 3% alcohol? Yeah, it's scary now. Remember, Cisco's has been very, very good to me. Cisco's. Y'all remember Cisco's? Honey, Camelton Road was lit back in the day. Greenbrier Flea Market. The West End. You remember the West End Mall? Uh, uh, East Point Mall. Huh? I'm waiting on the macaroni to come out. Then you're going to eat, okay? I promise I'm going to feed you, baby. Yes, I like the... I don't like, like... One time I was in a club, you know, I went to the American Legion. I know, I know y'all, I know y'all better than that, but I ain't. I went to the American Legion. I forgot what post it was. I forgot what post it was. But it was off of Lander Street and uh, down in Mayretta. We don't say Marietta. We say Mayretta. And um, that girl said, girl, order you a Long Island tea. I didn't know what no Long Island tea was. Honey, it, it they put that Coke Cola in there. They did, they did what they did. It tastes horrible. I gave it. I said, and she said, all the, no, she said, all of you are Tom Collins. That's what she said. All of you are Tom Collins. I didn't know what no Tom Collins were. Um, woo wee. Uh, uh. What you know about the Esquire Club? Miss Lily Jefferson, where you living at down in Atlanta? Yeah. You, do you remember Mr. V's figure eight, too? Y'all remember Mr. V's? I used to get my curl down down there off uh, uh, of Kelmerton Road. Yeah, them little five, like Smirnoffs, the little 3% alcohol back in the day. They was like drinking Kool-Aid. We would just pour them in little cups. And Chilla Chella and Boom Foam Strawberry. <laughs> well, I'm not a... I, I, I ain't never had an Amarella and Pineapple. I, back then, that didn't exist. We didn't know that name. Tom Collins is some dark uh, liquor with Coca-Cola. Horrible. Oh, Renee, I can't stand the taste. See, my daddy had a juke joint. I had all the liquor you wanted. They told us don't mix the white liquor with the, the dark liquor with white. But I only took it when I got sick in my chest. But, oh, mm -mm. I can't drink now. I... Mm -mm. I don't even like the taste of a tea leaf. I put so much stuff in my tea. You can't taste the tea. The pink fox. I remember that. Wait a minute. Was that a strip club? Like the purple onions and the blue flame? Was the pink fox a strip club? I don't remember that being no nightclub. Because we had the purple onion. Off a of bankhead, you had uh, the Blue Flame and Magic City. So I think that paint might have been a strip joint. Those were the good old days down in the A. Uh, what you say? Oh my God! Hey, Dinah from Colorado Springs. My dad has a sister that lives in Colorado Springs, Colorado. I've never been there. Yes, it do, but it does. What we used to do is make, um, we would go out there and get it to make um, hot toddies and stuff. You had to make your own cough medicine. Oh, no, I didn't get in, I didn't get into, I didn't like alcohol. And I certainly didn't like to smoke. Oh, it was a hair shop. See, I used to go, it was this guy named, oh, I almost said his name. But they had a big salon off of Camelton Road. Are you thinking of the pink pony? That might be what I was thinking of. Because I know we had the blue flame, the purple onion, Magic City is still open. And it was some different colors. Is sex on the beach good? Is it really good? I ain't never tried that. You lay down a blanket. That might be fun, though. Let's see. I have friends in Marietta. I used to go to hot Atlanta conventions. I retired now, but the hospital... Oh, hospitality can't be denied. And oh, yes, the men went to that. <laughs> yes, they did. Joanna Scott. 
Yes, strawberry daiquiri. I like that better than I did um, pina colada. I didn't like that salt around there. I don't like alcohol. I get them virgin. Hello, lady. I've been to Inglewood. I stayed seven days in Los Angeles on a, on a music convention. Sex on the beach. Oh, seven different flavors of liquor. Oh, I thought you meant like you was going to go on the beach and get you some. I thought you meant like sex on the beach. Like the, the wind is blowing your man in your back. Oh, yeah. That's right. You're a big inspiration. I love, I love you too, Renee Wiggs. I thought she meant like we were going to go to the beach. We know nobody going to be there. And they, we was going to go like at 9 or 10 o'clock at night and find a little hole and lay a little blanket down and the waves be crashing like. And your mind go away like. Like it was going to be like the best sex on the beach. But you're talking about a drink. I don't know that. Don't do that. I thought you meant like. Oh my. <laughs> Silly me. <laughs> I didn't know. I don't know. I don't drink. Yeah. To show y'all the food because y'all trying to mess with me. Oh, that's a Long Island tea in New York on the beach, Long Island. Yeah, I thought I was like, you know, I ain't never been no bartender. Hush, Jean. You used to be one, Jean. I think we about got all the food ready. Y'all, y'all tripping. Y'all trying to play with me. Is that a drink for real? Is that you talking about for real? Like, why you 24 7? You know you're gonna get in it. Dun, 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 talk it, talk it, talk it about the wine. Y'all did it. Y'all think y'all how old y'all? <laughs> Child, you young as you feel. Listen, this girl told me she's 65 with her 40 year old boyfriend. A blue Hawaii drink. Kelby have to answer all them. I don't know nothing about no alcohol. If you drink it, you'll be laying down. It won't be on the beach. Oh, well, okay. <laughs> Ooh, that's probably why you would be having the sex on the beach because you won't realize that you had the drink that knocked you out, which caused you to give up some to the seashells by the seashore and the tiny little CCs. CC, CC. That part. I think we're ready. Let's see. Can we go and check that macaroni? Stay out the bedroom while your husband's feeling better. You can do Girl, listen here. Betty, if, he's, if, he, if he supplies the fire, I'll, I'll, I'll supply the sacrifice. Y'all better quit talking like this. I'm going to go rub his back where he says so. Please don't let her drop the macaroni. Y'all about to make her nervous thinking her mama's going to do Come on in the kitchen. Y'all don't even know. Let me get in here. Look at this him. Girl, look what she done did. Look at that young in the mind. Let me get. Go, 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 go. Go, go, be, de, go. And it's sizzling. And it's sizzling. And it's sizzling. Good. Go, baby, go. <laughs> Say it three times, you laugh. Good. Go, baby, go. Don't get rid of that bottle because I'm going to use it as an example. When I order that stuff. Put on my red dress. Slip on some high heels. Y'all see that macaroni? So now y'all ready to see everything? You hear it? Listen. It's in. Listen. Go with it. Go. That's what it's saying. 
Okay, now let's go ahead and check out the rest. Come on. Oh, yeah. Good. Good. Good with it, go. My son is dancing. Good. Good with it, go. Good. Good with it, go. Good. Good with it, go. Come on over here and eat with me. Somebody come get some of this thing. Play. We're going to be pooping. We're going to have a good time. We're going to eat up a store. Oh! Good, goody, good. Look. My baby, what was you going to do, my baby finna spray it with a little oil kill. Put a little oil. I need a spoon for the yam. I need to get a little nap. Lord, Mad Dog 2020. Now I heard about that on um I heard about that on Good Time. I don't know. That's to knock you off your feet. Boy, I don't wanna bore you. Baby. Put that gravy all on it. That what my sister finna do right here. My daughter I call her sis. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but they name it all these drinks. Sex on them beach. Beach. Mm -hmm. Okay. Okay, we're finna put the macaroni right here, y'all. And everything will be out and ready. Son said he don't want to eat like this no more. Thank y'all for the stars. I got 2,000 stars. Oh, my God. I got $20. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I got $20. <laughs> Good I got 20 on it. <laughs> yes, ma'am, and yes, sir. I got 20 on it. Yes, I do. Yes, I do, do, do. I fry these now. Okay, so I done enjoyed y'all. But down by the river, I got to go. I'm trying to tell y'all to do them recipes like I show y'all and y'all be cooking up something. Y'all be coming to the reunion. I'm going to eat with my fingers. Ooh, honey, honey. I don't got a honey, honey on here yet. Honey, honey. That part. Come on down the line. Listen, better is the end of a thing than the beginning. And we're going to make it, ain't we? Even if we got to make it on broken pieces. I just came by to let y'all know I might have a slew foot. I may not walk that well. I may have setbacks. But I'm still making it on broken pieces. It didn't kill me. And so, therefore, we're going to keep cooking and live to see another day to cook again. I'm going to do y'all some meat. I'm going to do y'all some sweet potato balls probably tomorrow because I already got it mixed up. And I already got my um, pie crust laying out. So, we'll do that. We'll do something fun. Okay? And I got to get to the post office. It's good, Kendall. Kendall, come get a plate. Come get some of this food, Kendall. Please come get some. Mm, it's so good. Cause it's so good loving somebody when they love you back. Honey, honey. <laughs> All mine's clear. June said. June said it's time to get out the parking lot. She tired. She ready to eat. She had to sing at the choir today and usher at the same time. I don't know how she did it. I think she had a mic back there when she was leading. So June Phillips was ushering and singing at the same time. 
So in my closing, I'm going to let y'all see it. Thank you, Miss Patricia Davis. I love y'all. Let me let you see the food, and I'm going to let y'all go. Make sure y'all sprinkle me, baby. Sprinkle me. Kevin, I'm put the cornbread up here. That's that roast with that gravy. Mm-hmm. Show sure enough. Show sure enough tender, too. Show sure is. Show, sure, show, sure, show sure is. Ooh-wee. Let's go, yeah. The yams, honey. Thin. Yes, with that good old syrup that you're going to pour over your cornbread. And we got you some dirty beans over here. I'll snap a picture. Dirty beans. Dirty dirt beans. <clears throat> with the meat and everything in now. And that, that macaroni and cheese. Ooh, we in this deep dish. Mm-hmm. That part. All right. Get in there. Yeah, yeah. I love y'all. Ta-ta.